Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 and the thrilling wasteland adventures of Old Man McRib. In our last episode we completed the first quest for the Foundation Settlers and met Penny Hornwright. It was largely uneventful, just a little fetching and ghoul killing, maybe a robot here and there, nothing too exciting. Today we're taking on the second quest for the Raiders, Fun and Games. That's right, Old Man McRib is going to meet Gale and Rara, and he's not going to be nice to either of them. Because that's just not what Old Man McRib does. We're playing through all of Wastelanders and being as mean, horrible, and nasty as we can, killing and eating as many human NPCs as possible, all while wearing a bathrobe and swinging a walking cane. Remember, if you like videos like this one, do go ahead and get subscribed. Hit the like button or leave a comment. We've still got a number of episodes to go, and even when this is over, I've got some more ideas for Old Man McRib, so definitely make sure you don't miss out. Now, before we get into this one, I need to put out a bit of a disclaimer. In this episode, I'm going to choose the meanest dialogue options possible, and unlike other quests, this one actually gives us some really mean choices and has an NPC that reacts appropriately. And that NPC is a kid. This is pure fiction. I'm doing this playthrough so everyone can see what it looks like to make these choices. I would personally never be mean to a kid or really any human being for that matter. And even in my own personal gameplay, I don't generally make these choices. We're going to laugh our way through this and we're going to have fun with it, but that's because it's a game, not real life. I'm in no way advocating this kind of behavior and nobody should take it that way. I think most people get that, but you never know, so I'm just throwing it out there. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's get into it. We start our quest by talking to Meg back in the crater core. A76, took you long enough to come back. You get Lou on board with the plan? Of course, in our first quest for the Raiders, we had to go find Lou, who was trying to commit suicide to avoid becoming a feral ghoul. And we recruited him so we can tell Meg, yeah, uh, sorry, he uh, wasn't home, so I had to go look for him. He's in for the job. Okay, good. Lou's our way in the front door, so I don't know how we do it without him. All right, so I've been thinking about those plans place is secure as hell. Once Lou gets us inside, I'm sure we're gonna meet resistance. They ain't gonna just bowl over and let us loot, so we're gonna need the big guns. For that, we need Gale. Gale's the big green mutant gal you may have seen around, always hanging out with her little girl, Ra-Ra. Ever since Ra-Ra met up with Gale in the wilderness, they've been impossible to separate. So, just saying, you may have to convince Ra-Ra to let Gale come with us. Good luck, 7-6. And with that, we officially complete Cheating Death, which we did two episodes ago. And now we go find Gale, who's hanging out in her room alone, quite upset about something. Rara better be okay! So many humans around. Makes head hurt. Gale needs help. No time to waste making talks with newbies. Go away, stupid human! Uh, do you want my help, or are you just gonna stand here and insult me, a big green oaf? Who you call oaf, stupid human? You right. Gale is big. Gale also strong, and could crush your bones. Easy, like breaking twigs. You just like the others. No one actually want to help Gale. No one have time, but Gale know they have time. They see Gale angry. They stay away. Ignore Gale. I say help. They say Gale can help self, but they no listen. Gale don't want to crush humans, but will soon if no one help. Then they listen, maybe. Well, in my experience, one of the worst things to do in conversation with a woman 
who is upset, whether she is a human woman or a super mutant woman, is to tell her to calm down. That generally doesn't end well. It's a very bad idea. So, of course, that's what Old Man McRib is going to do right here. Gail, you need to calm down first, then we can talk about how I can help you. Gail, swear! You say calm down one more time! You get crushed into Red Puddle! Gail, sick of humans saying calm down! Gail, calm down when Gail want to calm down! Humans saying calm down don't make Gail calm down! Make Gail more angry! I explain problem! I say she gone! They no understand! They say calm down! Stop yelling! Don't throw things! Stop breaking arm! But no one listens! No one helps! Someone say, maybe Gail is just hungry, so they give meat. Gail no want meat, not now. Not while Gail need help. It make Gail want to scream. Ugh. Yeah, told you it wasn't going to go well. Uh, sorry, Gail, you're right. And no, old man McRib doesn't apologize. Okay, Gail, I get it. Tell me what I need to do so we can get on with this. Finally, someone listen to Gail. This is good. You will help Gail find her. Yeah, sure, Gail. Just tell me what I need to do. Find Rara. Rara is in danger. Go get her. Oh, yeah. Let's push some more buttons here. Who is Rara? Rara is precious, little human girl. Gail met Rara years ago. Rara was alone. Gail was alone. Now Rara and Gail are together. Rara take care of Gail. Gail take care of Rara. Rara is what matters most to Gail. Oh, that's very sweet and wholesome, Gail. Where is Rara? Under big building. Rara, go up rocks, into pipe, and don't come out. Gail can't follow Rara. Pipe too small for Gail. But maybe you fit. Building full of machines. Don't know how, but Gail think it makes lots of steel. What happened to Rara? I sense a pattern here. Gail and Rara was playing near the big... Dirty water place. We play hide and seek. I spy. Tag. Rara always bring her favorite toy. While we play, something steal Rara's toy. So Rara chases it. I chase Rara. But thing run up rocks and into pipe. So does Rara. Now Rara don't come back out. So did something bad happen to Rara? Gail would be so sad and so mad if something bad happened to Rara. And after the who, where, and what, we've earned the why is Rara. Gail not sure what you mean. Is this some stupid human question? Or are you somehow making fun of Gail's smarts? <sighs> Either way, question is a waste of time. And Gail has big, strong, crushing arms. That good answer for you? That kind of sounds like something I'd say. Uh, so yeah, tell me where she is and how to save her. Rara went into pipe at big steel place, but Gail too big. So Gail need you to go after Rara. Gail waited and called to Rara, but Rara did not come back. So Gail is worried. Gail come back for help to get human to go in pipe to get Rara, but no one listened to Gail until you. Now you go to pipe and go get Rara out. Easy for someone small and weak like you. Okay, fine, Gail. I got it. I'll go head to Grafton Steel and see if I can find Rara. You can count on Old Man McRib. Good. 
One more thing. If you be nice to Rara and she likes you, she will be good and helpful. If she don't like you, she make things hard for you. Rara loves Gale, so life is easy. You are stranger though, so keep in mind. Now go, hurry. No time to wander wasteland doing stupid things while little child is in trouble. <laughs> and if that is not a dig on Fallout 4, I don't know what is, because if there was ever a time in Fallout where we wandered the wasteland doing stupid things while a child was in trouble, it was while we were making beds and roofs for the Minutemen while we were supposed to be looking for our baby. Well, on our way to Grafton Steel, we have encountered a human NPC, and I had someone come by uh, and visit me in game a few weeks ago who's been uh, watching the channel. and dropped off a whole bunch of legendary walking canes for old man McRib. And uh, please forgive me if I butcher the pronunciation of this name, but uh, thank you to Amiril who stopped by and dropped these off. There's some really good ones here and I will definitely make use of them. I really, really appreciate that. Now let's let old man McRib do what old man McRib does best. You know, you'd think we'd start using some more metal like the Raiders. Yeah, you'd think. I used some. I wrapped this cane in it. What do you think, huh? Oh, you're blocking me. Oh, we got a we got a skillful little settler there. Well, that's all right. Nothing old man McRib can't handle. And he's getting a little hungry, so we'll take care of business. And let's find Rara. Now, we all know that old man McRib is not the strongest of characters. So, while... I can do a little bit of fighting with him. A place that's filled with super mutants is probably not the best place to do that. If we have the option to sneak by, we will, and that appears to have worked this time. So we can sneak right by the edge of Grafton Steel and kind of scale our way down the edge of the dam. Try not to fall. And eventually we find a grate in the side of the dam and make our way inside. Now, I know that the enemies we're going to face in here are going to be robots. And one of the legendary walking canes we were gifted was a troubleshooter's walking cane with faster swing speed. So I have a feeling that'll be useful in here along with our shotgun later on. Let's do that. See if we have any chems we can take. Uh, yeah, we'll drink some water, eat some food. Let's get all prepared for this. I'm running the What Rads legendary perk, so not worried about picking up rads from things. Get a little extra carry weight from some grilled rad stag. That never hurt. Anything else going on here? Tesla science. Eh, we'll hold on to that just in case. Just in case I need it later. Unstoppables, why not? Okay, let's head in. And I can hear some Protectrons around the corner. Anything down here? No. We'll do a little looting. And there are some Protectrons. What can we do? We're not very strong. Even with this troubleshooter's walking cane, it's not going to be that good. Maybe we've got some grenades. Let's see if we can waste some grenades on these guys and thin out the herd a little bit. Because there might be some more behind them. All right, I can take that. What else we got? Cryogenic grenades. Slow them down a little. I don't think that had a very much of an effect. Anything else? Nope. Let's take them down. We're sneaking. We've still got lots of agility. That's good. Oh, in danger. Okay, there we go. I think it's just this one. He's already half dead. All right, so far so good. Nothing we can't handle as of now. We'll creep our way up the platform and we've got more Protectrons waiting for us. Okay, assess the situation a little bit. The 
goal here is to sneak and take them down using ninja attacks. So what we want to do is find some that aren't in line of sight. We've got the super chem to give us a little bit of uh, extra melee damage and some uh, damage resistance. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And we're still hidden. That's even better. We're in the dark. Not in line of sight with any of these guys. That's what we want. Okay, this one's a little riskier. All right. Back into hidden. That's good. Old Man McRib doesn't have a ton of power, but as long as he's not getting mobbed, he'll be okay. Once you get a couple enemies throwing fire at him, though, that's when he gets in trouble with no armor. And we must be detected. No, we're not now. All right, just one left. This shouldn't be a problem. Creep our way on over here. And there we go. And out of the vent pops a small child. This must be Rara. And before we get the conversation started, Bethesda, if you're watching, Rara's hat and goggles need to be a thing on the atomic shop if you like money. You're the outsider that was talking to Meg. Did you kill the robos? I couldn't get out because the Robos wanted to kill me. Did you kill them? Yes, I did. Now come on, you little troublemaker. I gotta bring you back to Gale. Ugh, I didn't make trouble. Wait, is Gale here? I want to see Gale. Where is she? Why isn't she with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool your jets, kid. It's just me here. Gale couldn't come. Why not? I want Gale, not some stupid, boring grown-up who tells me what to do. Oh, here we go. I don't know. Gale's not too bright, kid, but I'm here to help, so let's get going. No. No! I'll tell Gale what you said, then we'll see who's not too bright. I'm not gonna leave until I find Bunabun. -bun. There's more Robos, and I can't do it myself. I tried, but then the Robos got mad and tried to get me. Yeah, remember when Gale told us if we're nice to Ra, Ra she'll be helpful and cooperative? Yeah, pretty sure that's going out the window quick. No, kid. Cut the crap. We have to go. Now. No! No, no, no! Bun up, bun! I'm not going without him. If you don't help me get him, I won't go back. And if I don't go back, Gale will be angry. And if Gale is angry, She'll take your arms off and stick them up your butt! This is the best dialogue in Wastelanders so far. Well, we don't really have time, and it's dangerous here. Can't we just get you a new one? No! Bunabun -bun is the only one. Meg told me a story there used to be places where you could get any kind of toy you want, but they're all gone since the world got blowed up. But even if there were toy places, none of them would have Bunabun. -bun. He's special! All right, well, I see a what and a where option, but uh, we're not going to go down that rabbit hole, no pun intended, or maybe a little bit of a pun intended, but we don't really have a choice, so... Okay, Rara, let's find Bunabun. I don't know. Are you sure you can do it? Gale is big and nice and great and strong, and you're... You. Uh-huh, okay. Little smartass, huh? Well, geez, kid, you talk a lot. Let's find this thing and get the hell out of here. Hmm. Maybe you don't talk enough. But as long as you help me find Bunna Bun, that's okay. We're gonna find my Bunna Bun. Maybe we'll also find a gun. We'll kill some robos. Shoot, shoot, shoot! I don't eat stuff that makes you too. <laughs> well, she's still a bit cheerful despite Old Man McRib's demeanor. What's next? We've got to look around the room here, find Ra Ra's toy, speak with Ra Ra. Yeah, I think we've already spoken with Ra Ra. Okay, nothing there. Uh, there's a key card on the floor. Is that the right key card? Let's find out. Swipe. And card reader is not responding. So now we're going to need to talk to Ra Ra and see if she has any ideas. Did you find anything? Is the door still locked? 
Yeah, it's still locked, and we don't have a key. Think you could go through the vents and unlock it from the other side? I did that before. Not here, but in somewhere else. It's fun. Except this one time I did it, and the vent fell when I was crawling in it, and everyone thought I was hurt, but I wasn't. Okay, fine. Shut up and just do it. <sighs> fine. You don't have to be mean. I'm not a baby. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think we're probably starting to piss off Rara just a little bit. But she's still going to help for now. She's going to climb into the vent and use a new custom character animation. Very reminiscent of Mothership Zeta from Fallout 3. And of course, she finds herself a big red button, which never could lead to anything bad. Except in this case, it leads to four more Protectrons coming out of the pods that we'll need to eliminate. So far, so good. Let's clean them up. All right, we're doing all right with this troubleshooter's walking cane up to this point, but yeah, once we start getting detected, it's pretty bad. Maybe it's time, yeah, let's break out the shotgun, do a little crippling. And that, of course, is the trick of the trade with robots. You don't need to be specced for shotguns to take out high-level robots. You just need to cripple them enough that they can't hurt you or that they self-destruct, which we'll see a little later on. All right, we've got a right leg crippled. That'll slow him down for an uncomfortably long reloading process. And one more for good measure. Take out the arms. And he's down, and we are finally through the door. And it's now time to talk to Rara -Ra again and give her a new opportunity to be disappointed in potential male role models. <laughs> that was funny. I pressed the button, and more robos came out of hiding to play with you, and then you killed them. <laughs> Brace yourselves, it's all about to hit hard. You stupid kid. What the hell were you thinking? You could have gotten us killed. But I didn't. I don't like you. I was having fun, and I thought you'd have fun too. You're nothing like Gail. Gail's the best. She lets me play with things. You're a stinky butt face. Listen, kid. If I didn't need Gail, you could die for all I care. Now let's get a move on. <gasps> You're so mean. Fine. I hate you! I'm telling Gail when we get back! Oh, I heard the thing! The animal? In the vent over there! I think it still has Bonabon! I'm going after it! Well, she's certainly resilient, but yeah. It lets us be really, really mean to Rara. We follow her through the vent, we go into this next room. I am personally just still feeling all kinds of conflicted about being mean to this kid. I know it's just a game, but I'll tell you what. The voice actor did a great job of making you really feel guilty about it. So, uh, yeah. On with our journey we go. We've got to find a way through this area here. Now, on most characters you play when you're at this point, you're probably higher level, you have marsupial, you can kind of skip through a lot of stuff. Old Man McRib doesn't have that option. We're going to have to take on these robots and make our way through. All right, so far just some Protectrons, nothing too terrible. And we'll sneak past that one once we get across the catwalk. And we find these two pods here to explore. Opening the one to the west, we'll need to unlock it. Fortunately, we've got a legendary perk for that. And looking around, look at that. That is a beautiful pumpkin pie. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm sure any child would love to receive a pumpkin pie like that. And look at the goggles there, just to kind of remind us that she's here. But old man McRib doesn't care. He gobbled that whole thing up. It was delicious. And we'll finish exploring, make our way to the end of the room where we meet back up with Rara. The stupid animal was too fast and it was getting hot in the vent so I needed to take a break. Hey, um, also, do you have anything to eat? I'm starving! 
you know what would have been really good? A perfectly preserved pumpkin pie that somehow managed to survive completely intact for 26 years in an underground steel mill. It was delicious. I ate all of it. Not only am I not going to share it, I'm going to be mean to you about it, you little brat. You're not getting anything till we get out of here. But I'm so hungry and I know you have food. Hmm, fine. See if I help you with anything when you need it. Despite old man McRib's wanton cruelty, Rara will continue on the journey, find more locked doors, and find a way to let us through them. Okay, so back into Bye. And Rara, clearly not interested in hanging around old man McRib any more than she absolutely has to, rushes off into another vent. As we stare down the long corridor in front of us, a three-star legendary Assaultron emerges from a robot pod on the upper catwalk. Fights like this are exactly what old man McRib is not made for. But that is what three stars in concentrated fire is made for, and shotguns, and the enforcer perk. The whole point here is we need to cripple as many limbs on this robot as possible to get it to self-destruct. The idea that old man McRib with no armor and not being very good at anything is going to be able to take this enemy down on his own is pretty ridiculous. So crippling it is. We've already taken out the head, but now we've taken out a leg to slow her down. See if we can take out some more limbs. Ideally, we cripple them all before she can regenerate. She's a legendary enemy, so if we get her to 50% health, she's gonna end up regenerating all of those crippled limbs, and that's not going to be very helpful. All right, there goes the left arm. That's probably a, oh no, left arm still wasn't crippled, now it is. Okay, what do we have left? I feel like you should be making the self-destruct noise by now, but no, you have your right arm yet. Okay, she's moving a little faster, she's a little more frantic. Oh, right arm's still alive, okay. There we go, there's the self-destruct sound. Now we just need to go away and avoid the explosion. When you get a robot in this position, they will sometimes try to crawl closer to you to kill you with the self-destruct. Fortunately, we survived that whole encounter and almost died from the second explosion because that was a legendary robot and legendary robots always explode, apparently, a second time. If we continue west along the catwalk, we'll eventually find the pressure sensor terminal that we can use to open the security door and try to catch back up with Rara. After a bit of meandering through the area, we find ourselves looking into what looks like some kind of research lab with a special power armor inside. And we find Rara looking in as well. I wonder if we can get in there. The glass is still intact. So no way for us to get into the room that way. And the door doesn't seem to open. Perhaps we need Rara to do something nice for us. I found some fresh animal poops in there, so I think I'm going the right way. It was really stinky though, so I needed some fresh air. I'll go back in there to keep looking for bun -a bun the bun bun if you keep looking out here. Yeah, I need a favor. Can you crawl into the vent and open the door to the room with the power armor in it? No. You were mean to me before, and now I don't wanna. I just wanna find bun -a bun and go back home to Gale, Dewey Head. See ya! Oh, well. And old man McRib gets what he deserves. Rara follows through on her promise. She will not, in fact, do something nice for us when we need it. Because old man McRib has been very, very mean to her. And clearly he is, in fact, a duty head. So while Rara won't go get the power armor for us, she will unlock the door at the end of the hallway. We just need to have a little bit of patience and wait for it to come swinging open. I'm okay. I can't get back in the vent, but there's some uh, gun thingies in here. I think they want to shoot me. 
and now it sounds like Rara may have bitten off a bit more than she can chew as she's being targeted by some turrets. We can hear them, we haven't seen them yet as we try to get to her because, you know, despite old man McRib being a horrible person, uh, well, I guess he's still a horrible person, but, uh, you know, he doesn't want Ra Ra to die because he needs Gale's help, so we're gonna have to try to keep her alive. So we'll fight our way through some enemies and eventually find a terminal that will allow us to shut down the turrets. Using our Bravo Sector security password we just picked up on the table, we can divert the turret power, which will shut them off and save Ra Ra, at least for now. I say for now because once we proceed a little deeper into the complex, we hear more turrets and realize that Ra Ra's gotten herself in trouble again. This time we're gonna have to fight off some more robots, more than just those two, but you get the point. We find another terminal, we can use our Bravo security access again, and again, shut down the turrets, this time saving Rara permanently, at least from turrets. Eventually, we'll catch back up to her and give her new reasons not to be excited to be around old man McRib, despite him saving her. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I was only a little scared, but not really. If you tell Gail, just say I had fun, okay? Uh, damn it, kid. What's wrong with you? You almost got yourself killed. What's wrong with you? I was the one who was in trouble. Anyway, here's a key and a note I found on a skeleton in the vents. Your stupid butt face will probably need it to get through the door. I'm going back inside the vent to find my bun bun before you do, because you'd probably just do something mean to him. Hey, maybe old man McRib is really doing her a favor here. She'll certainly never trust a creepy old man in a bathrobe wandering the wasteland. Let's read the note she found. Grafton Steel Infiltrator's Note. Things I expected. Robots. Lots of security robots. The pulse explosives are handy. Grafton Steel is way bigger than anyone thought. The US federal government has a major interest in keeping this location secure. These ducts are a little tight for a full-grown man. The sound of machinery drowns out any sound I make in here. Things I didn't expect. Climbing through vents is harder than anticipated. No real secrets here, it's just a steel mill, but why so secure? Opening vents trips security alarms. The ventilation ducts narrow in places. I'd have to leave the pulse explosives behind in the wider sections of the vents because the bag wouldn't fit. That I'd be able to reach paper and a pen, but not anything that could help me get unstuck. I'd start dying of dehydration long before starving off enough weight to get unstuck. That my last words would be in the form of a bullet-pointed list. So the infiltrator got stuck in a vent and eventually dehydrated and starved to death, leaving some pulse explosives behind. I wonder if Rara will find those in the vent for us. Let's go ahead and swipe his keycard so we can follow her. Proceeding through the complex, we'll find a few more robots to take out. Nothing too terribly challenging. Switching to an explosive shotgun works pretty well. Considering that our quad shotgun broke, we didn't really have much choice. Target the thruster on this Lieutenant Gutsy and make quick work of him. And eventually, we hear Ra Ra calling to us from the vents. Well, I was gonna give you some fun things I found, but guess what, buttface? Not anymore, so there. Have fun fighting the Robos all by yourself. It sounds like she did in fact find the infiltrator's pulse grenades and because she doesn't like old man McRib, he's not gonna get to use them. Fortunately, the Robos up ahead are just a couple of Protectrons. Nothing we can't handle. We'll break out the explosive shotgun again, cripple some limbs and take these guys down. And hopefully those double doors will open up after we clear the security, finish him off with the cane. And for some reason, one of them exploded. And now we find a large open room with a skeleton on the floor. And up ahead is Bunabun lying on the floor 
next to the corpse of a rad rat. After we pick up the toy, we hear a security alarm and a legendary sentry bot emerges. If we thought an Assaultron was going to be a tough fight, well, we've got another thing coming now. With sentry bots, if we can manage to hit the fusion cores, that should kill it. So maybe, oh my god, okay. That thing's got some serious firepower and we have a serious lack of armor. So this is going to be a tough fight. All right, we're still in danger. And I can't resist the urge to loot. Let's make our way around. I want to see if I can get a line on the fusion core and take it out. Okay, I've got it. Come on. Okay, cripple another leg. That'll help. But now he's turned around. That's the opposite of what we want. Bullets are the opposite of what we want. All right, we're back in caution. Let's try and cripple some more things. We've crippled the torso. That's good. Fusion cores, we've got a shot. Okay, we took him out. But he mutated and regenerated all of it. Oh, that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. Can we get him again? Watch that health just drain. Okay, fusion cores are out again, but apparently that's not gonna kill this one. All right, after running for cover and getting back into caution, we're gonna take some more shots, try and cripple some more things, but it's still got plenty of bullets to throw our way. And now it's hobbling its way along the catwalk. Okay, we've crippled the legs, that's good, but it's still shooting. Oh my God, this thing's tough. If this is an indicator of what's to come in some of these other quests, old man McRib's gonna be in for a rough day. We'll keep going. Okay, what else? Okay, the left arm needs to be crippled. That should help us. And the shoulder. This thing's got a lot of limbs. And the right arm, and we're down. But I hear the self-destruct sound, so when we respawn back in, he's gonna be dead. And he is. We'll go loot his corpse, or robot pile, or whatever you call a dead robot, and then we'll go have a word with Rara. Okay, you killed the robo, so give me my bun bun No, 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 no! Yeah, yeah, I did it. No thanks to you. Here's your dumb toy. Now let's go back home. Well... Maybe I would have helped more if you weren't such a meanie butt face. Still, you found Bunna Bun, so maybe Gail won't hurt you to death when we get back. <laughs> well, so on my normal playthroughs, on my original playthrough of Wastelanders, I actually said to her, I don't want a kid coming with us on the vault raid, and tried to convince her to stay behind while we took Gail along simply because my thinking was it's probably not a good idea to bring a child into a very dangerous place like a vault raid. But that was probably actually the mean option accidentally, but in this case we're going to still roll with that same moral attitude because old man McRib is a horrible person, so he's perfectly fine with bringing a kid along. I think we could use someone small who can get into places others can't. Want to help us break into a vault? Only if I have to. You weren't very nice to me. But if Gail wants to go, I'll go. Anyway, I'm going back to her now. So, bye, butt face. <laughs> and if we hold tight, she's got some more dialogue. I missed you, Bun Bun. You're the best Bun Bun. And if we follow and try to talk to her again, she'll have a little more to say. Now that I have my bun a bun I never have to see your stupid face again. Bye! Clearly Old Man McRib has made quite the lasting impression. Let's head back to Gale and see if she hurts us to death. You find Rara! You Gale's friend! Rara says you are bad, but I know you are good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Rara's smarter than you, Gale, but uh, you know... Whatever, as long as you don't murder me, I guess I'll see you later. Let's go talk to Meg and let her know how things went. A76, 
I hear Gail was in a bind and you helped her find her little girl. I also heard you treated Ra-Ra like shit, though. Still, no one round here would lift a finger for him, so at least you've got that going for you. Yeah, Ra-Ra was kind of a pain in the ass, but I got it done. Shit, 7-6, she's just a kid. Ain't you ever been a kid before? Even if you grew up in that vault of yours, you gotta have had a nice pampered life as a kid compared to the shit we're in now. Think of that. And it's a miracle Ra-Ra's alive, let alone as cool as she is. Yeah, 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 what's next? Glad you asked. The vault we're breaking into is gonna have a lot of security. The kind explosions and muscle ain't gonna help with. You wanna get by security or any other surprises? There's only one guy I trust to get the job done. Gentleman Johnny Two Guns Weston. You know, I'm pretty good at all that stuff. Do we really need somebody else on the job? Not a chance, 7-6. I like you, but I barely know you. Johnny may be a bit of a loose cannon, and he may be good at lying and cheating, but I know my way around him if you catch what I'm putting down. And he knows better than to cheat me. Can't say the same for you. Yet. All right, fine. Just tell me what I need to do. So here's what's what. Johnny's the real deal. Best guy I got. I won't do this job without him. Think of him as an insurance policy. Thing is, on account of him being so critical to our success, he thinks he gets to do as he pleases. And to some degree, that's true. That being said, he can be fickle. If he doesn't want to do a job, well then Johnny doesn't do a job. Since you know what's at stake here better than I do, I want you to see if you can't convince him this is the right job for him, you dig? You got it, Meg. I will talk to Johnny. Good luck, 7-6. He may need a little convincing. Don't be afraid to give him some incentive to work this job. And with that, we complete Fun and Games, the second quest the Raiders have sent us on to set up the Vault 79 raid. But we're not going to jump right into their next quest. Instead, next week we'll head back to Foundation and take on the second quest for the Settlers, where we'll find out what Old Man McRib thinks about commies. As always, if you enjoyed this, well, you know what, honestly, if you enjoyed this one too much, you should be pretty ashamed of yourself and go donate money to a children's hospital or something to make up for it. But you should also remember to hit the like button, leave a comment, and definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes or any of the other Fallout 76 content I post on the channel every week. I hope to see you next time. Till then, I'm Fisty McRib.